Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we're going to be working on the days of December and we are going to be doing layout number seven. When I originally cut my pieces, I put them all in envelopes. So we're going to start with the stamping. I've already put the stamps on the block. So we need to do um, 13, 14, and 15. Now again, I might end up using a different um, a different uh, number for my actual album when I do put my pictures in there. I have been taking photos every day and if I start printing them immediately, I, I, my, my plan was to write down my stories for each day what I wanted to do for each day and I haven't done that yet it's December 4th so probably I might want to get out a journal or something and you know put down what I want to put for those photos or actually um, print those photos out and put them in the album which I haven't done that either I did just I'm like miscombobulated after my mama and my niece left I'm like woo. yeah I'm a little miscombobulated right now. I want to keep up on the YouTube channel. It's funny. I was watching Caitlin Cleary today and she was talking about you or not YouTube burnout, but creative burnout. And she was talking about how if your YouTube's um, YouTubers go away for a week or so, don't worry. They're probably just having creative burnout. She is not lying. She is 100% um, correct. So far though, it's been okay. I really love how these, oh, look at that. I was just going to say, I really love how these number ones stamp. That one didn't stamp good. That one didn't stamp good, guys. That is so funny because I was getting ready to say that. I'm going to pull it close to me and try and stamp on top of it. And if I don't get it lined up correctly, it's going to be fine. I can always do it again. Ah, perfect. Yep. I did it. I lined it up, guys. Did you see that? You did good, Becky. Good job, girl. You go. I'm using my chamois to wipe my stamp off. <clears throat> excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. How's y'all's December going? Did you have, have you guys done your Christmas shopping yet is what I want to know. Because you know how much I've done? Zero percent. My tree did come in though. Yay. I just got to figure out where I want to put it. I ended up opting for a white. Well, I told you guys I wanted to do the pre-lit one. But I ended up opting for a skinny tree. Instead of a big fat full one. Thought we should start slow. So we just got a skinny tree. I didn't, we have like really high ceilings. I didn't even get a really tall one. It's only like seven and a half feet, which I think is normal, the normal size. So I didn't even end up going big. I just went normal size. And I'm going to flip this over. Close to my heart. That's where you go. I'm going to have my link down below. That's where y'all go if you want some stuff. That's where I go when I want some stuff. <laughs> it's one of the places I go. <laughs> okay, so over here, we got this. This goes on top of it, it looks like. And it looks like it's divided by this. And then the number goes right here. Underneath that, we have the plaid. Then we've got... I'm looking at the directions right here. I don't know if you will or will not be able to see them. And then we got, ha, huh. oh, it's right here, Spot this one. This goes here, and it looks like this goes here. A photo mat goes over it, which I did not pull out yet. Three by four photo. Let me go ahead and pull out a three by four photo. Photo mat. Not an actual photo. Okay. 
Okay. There you go, four photo map. Then over here, we've got another three by four. And then there's another three by four that goes right down here. Then we've got this card. And one of these goes across it right about here. And then we've got this card. And this is going to go across it right here. And this is going to go across it right here. Now there's going to be a number here and a number here. And then we have, there's only enamel dots right there. So this one is super easy. This is layout number seven. Layout number seven. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to be so loud. Um, yeah, layout number seven. This one shows it going all the way up to the edge of the card. That. Jim had picked up out um, some kids to sponsor for Christmas. And that we had to have the, not we, he had to have the um, presents in today. And we totally forgot about it. So he ended up having to go out at lunch to get their presents. There was a two-year-old girl, and she wanted Minnie Mouse, and then there was a one-year-old boy, and he wanted some kind of truck. Of course, Jim, being Jim, he went way overboard, so they ended up getting more than what they asked for, which is pretty cool. Perfectly fine. I said, look at you being all non-Scrooge-like. <laughs> That's what I told him. Because Jim is usually known as the Scrooge. Because he is not a fan of Christmas. And that did not help me the past several years when I, was, when I stopped putting up the Christmas tree. Because he's okay with it. Because he didn't care. He's not all about Christmas. So, yeah. I don't know how he's going to deal with me having a tree up. Or us having a tree up. Haven't done it yet. I, I don't know. Because I got the skinny one. So I can either put it in the dining room. Or. Or. I can put it. Um, in the living room. By. You know one of the pieces of furniture. Because it's tall. It's not tall. But it's, it's skinny. So it doesn't have to be, you know, it, it, I don't have to have it in the, in the dining room in front of the window, right? Because it's for me. It's not for them. It's not for the neighbors to see through my window. So I don't know. How do you guys do yours? Do you guys put yours in front of a window? I know a lot of people do. Do you put your tree in front of the window? I still haven't decided. Um, the tall, skinny tree I got... I ended up getting it at Target because they had spend a hundred dollars on Black Friday. I did it Black Friday online, but they had spend a hundred dollars and get fifty dollars off. So I ended up spending a hundred dollars and get my fifty dollars off. And um, they had this like uh, on that collection they had a collar that went around the base of the tree instead of a tree skirt and it's kind of like this it's a like a 10 well it was like 40 dollars for that and i'm like well i got one of those buckets only it's big so i'm thinking i'm just gonna sit that into that bucket instead of because i didn't want to spend 40 dollars on a tree collar that was insane i'm like um no and then i got some new bulbs i thought instead of pulling all my previous decorations out of the attic because you know i'm lazy i bought some they had a set that was blush which i loved it was all pastels it was so pretty but they didn't have any in stock people already bought it up because it was so pretty um so i ended up going with a a light blue like an ice blue and silver a bunch of those so i got some bulbs and then I got some of the funky shaped bulbs. 
And now I gotta go out and get everybody some stockings. Like, that stocking is on there, but I didn't end up getting it. I might go back and get them. I don't know, I haven't really decided online. Um, the stockings were like $14 each. Is that a good price for a stocking? I haven't bought stockings in so long. I don't know if that's a good price for a stocking or not. So, but Yeah, they're $14 each, I think, or $13 each. But they didn't have them um, that necessarily match the tree. But depending on what the tree is, does it really matter? If the tree's in the dining room, that's way far away from the fireplace. So... I don't know. I have all these questions because I haven't decorated in so long. I need me an interior decorator or something to come over and fix my house up for me. Make it all nice and pretty. You'd think, being a scrapbooker, I have, would have some type of a clue, right? Because that's what we do is make things pretty. But, I don't know. I think I like so many things that at the end, you it's not one thing theme or one thing and doesn't necessarily necessarily flow together because I just like them all I like everything so I'm just like oh yeah that's what I'm going through right now but I'm gonna either order those stockings or I'm gonna have to go out this weekend and get some stockings because definitely on my goal for this week and what I say today was December 4th. Definitely one of my goals for today is to, or not today, <laughs> for this weekend is to get that tree up wherever I decide to put it. Now my dining room needs some work, so I don't know if it'll be able to be in there or not. We have exercise equipment in there right now, and um, we don't use it. We have a treadmill that slips. It needs to be adjusted. And then we have uh elliptical that i done burnt the motor out on it doesn't i mean it, you can have some resistance because it goes up and down it so you can adjust the resistance that way but you can't adjust the resistance a lot we just need to get rid of it yeah i wore that motor out when i was really into working out several years ago i need to get back into that but my problem is I get obsessed with things, so if I get obsessed with that, there won't be any scrapbooking going on. <laughs> I need to learn how to just have a happy balance of things. I get obsessed with something and that's all everything is about. And here, you know, for the past great bit, not a little bit, for the past great while, it's been scrapbooking. My mom said, oh, you have so much stuff. And Tiffany came in here and me and Tiffany scrapbook together because Tiffany used to scrapbook. She hasn't scrapbook a whole lot since she's had Chiron because, you know, kids, they take time. So she hasn't scrapbooked a whole lot in the past 10 years. But yeah, um, she, I went to bed. She's, I only did one page and she stayed up late and she did like four pages. And then all the scrapbook pages she took with her. I don't know. I had an extra at We Are Memory Keepers album that was full leather. That's all filled up. And I gave her page protectors. So Kyron sat there and put the, the pages and page protectors. And they put in the album. The album's completely full. It's starting to go like this. You know, open up. So then they just put the rest in the pizza boxes. And... Or in a pizza box. That's a lot of... That's... I don't know. I should have asked her. How many are there that you're taking? Most of them are ones I intentionally made for her. But she took some that were just... That I just made to make, you know? So, yeah. That was pretty fun. It's always nice when someone wants to actually... Ha... You know? You do the layout for someone. And they actually are like... Ooh. Ah. And they love it. I, and like I said, I had an extra album, so I just gave it to her so she could put her stuff in there if she wanted to. And she did. So now I have to remember to buy another album. Y'all can help me remember that. I like those, and I get them on Amazon a lot. I like the We Are Memory Keepers um, leather ones. The leather is so soft. I love Close to My Heart, as you can well see. I'm sitting here working with Close to My Heart. But I think the We Are Memory Keepers is leather. And the 
close to my heart ones are faux leather and I think the close to my heart ones are more expensive and it's faux leather it's not even real leather so I'm like eh I haven't bought one of those yet I might someday I don't know I really like the We Are Memory Keepers ones I, I got some brown and some black and some mint colors off of Amazon and I saw I swear I saw one time, sorry, I'm trying to get this to fit in there and I'm like bending it all up. I swear I saw one time that um, they were going to discontinue those, but they haven't so far. So hopefully I'm just making stuff up. This card might need to be trimmed down a little bit. It's like bending up in there. Um, I'm going to trim off the top a little bit. Alright guys, we're just about done with this. I mean, we're totally done with all the putting it together part. I'm just going to trim that off. So, look, I bent that all up. That's where I'm going to write my journaling. It'll be okay. It'll be alright. We're not today 14 or 15 yet. Surely I'll have some good, good bit of stuff to write to cover up all those crinkles, right? Here's my fake picture. <laughs> Alright, there we go. This is layout number seven from the days of December. I will have, like I said, I will have my close to my heart linked down below. If you want to pick up this kit yourself, it's the days of December. I also bought the Everyday Life album in red. Which I know you've seen it before. But this is what we've done so far. Of course, I didn't put any photos in yet. Mom and Tiff were still here this day, so these are probably going to be photos of them visiting. Wish list. I actually have something to put on there. I want a food processor. I'm going to write that on there. So this is what we've done so far. I was going to say, ooh, look at the big size photo on the 9th. Maybe that's when I should take a picture of the tree. But surely I'm going to put the tree up before the 9th. So, yeah, and then this one, and then what we just did. So next time when we come back, we're going to do layout number eight. It is Wednesday, so I'm running out of videos to put up. Um, We'll see what happens. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Next time, we're going to be doing this one. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, we get to, we get to use the shimmer brush again. I love the shimmer brush. Yes. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. And answer my questions down below. I've been really busy, so I haven't gotten back to a lot of comments or had a chance to answer a lot of comments. But now that uh, company's gone, I'll be able to catch up with those. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.